The biggest Hillary Clinton scandal no one's talking about by Gary Mayer for USA Politics Today. You've heard of Benghazi and Uranium One, but more than a year after Hillary Clinton's resounding loss to President Trump, she must now grapple with a new scandal, an ongoing Federal Election Commission investigation into her alleged $84 million money laundering scheme orchestrated by the Hillary Victory Fund. The $500 million joint fundraising committee between the Clinton campaign, the Democratic National Committee and Democratic State Parties. Based on uh, former DNC Chairwoman Donna Brazile's public comments, a memo by former Clinton campaign manager Robbie Mook and months of uh, reviewing FEC reports, the Committee to Defend the President has filed an FEC complaint accusing the Democratic establishment of using state chapters as straw men to circumvent uh, campaign donation uh, limits and launder money to Clinton's campaign. The Hillary Victory Fund solicited six-figure donations from major donors, including Calvin Klein and Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane, papered them uh, through a state party's uh, en route to DNC and then the Clinton campaign. In reality, the fund uh, either uh, never transferred $84 million to state parties, sending the funds straight to the DNC, or it made the transfers without state parties having actual control of the money. In either case, the fund violated campaign finance laws in uh, precisely the way the Supreme Court deemed illegal uh, in its 2014 McCutcheon versus FEC ruling. And that's only the tip of the allegation in this particular iceberg. If uh, and when the allegations are confirmed by the FBC, Clinton's $84 million money laundering scheme will go down as the single largest campaign finance scandal in U.S. history. Of course, the New York Times has not devoted a single drop of ink to the $84 million scandal, while uh, MSNBC's lack of coverage is hardly surprising. CNN's radio silence is deafening and once again contradicts the network's uh, self-described uh, nonpartisanship. Even the Washington Post's uh, David Weigel, the only mainstream reporter to cover the scandal, acknowledged most coverage of the FEC complaint had appeared in conservative media before he covered it. Can you imagine the media outrage if Republicans oversaw an $84 million money laundering scheme? Just consider the outrage they currently bear at every perceived impropriety by Trump, whether it be having a second scoop of ice cream or saying Merry Christmas. Alas, the liberal media continues to defend Clinton from herself in in 2016, an estimated 91% of nightly uh, newscasts, uh, Trump coverage was hostile to the president. When it came to covering personal controversies, ABC, CBS, and NBC devoted 56% of its coverage to Trump and only 38% um, percent to uh, Clinton's many scandals. It's no wonder the American people have lost tr uh, trust in the uh, liberal media. According to Gallup polling, the majority of the uh, 2016 U.S. voters believe media coverage, uh, coverage favored Clinton over the president. Of course, that was uh, true. Today, only 27% of Americans uh, have a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in newspapers. Even fewer Americans, 24% uh, trust television news. Uh, if the liberal media won't cover an unprecedented, meticulously documented $84 million scandal, why would they? And if uh, the media won't do its job, then it uh, falls on us as concerned citizens to hold our political leaders accountable. And hold them accountable, we will. The FEC's investigation of the latest Clinton scandal is already underway and could result in significant uh, legal jeopardy for the Democratic establishment, their major donors, and uh, Clinton herself. Clinton will answer for her actions whether the media covers it or not, and then they're going to have to. Yeah. 
Go get them. Absolutely. Let me know what uh, you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.